What's crack lacking everybody and welcome back to what is another Unlisted League video and in today's video we are doing the second part to the absolute ridiculous $10,000 mystery box. If you didn't see yesterday which is part number one, I'm going to give you a really quick recap but I'm also going to link it down below. So basically, recapping yesterday's video really quickly, we sent TCA Gaming, who is a massive Pokemon card collector, $10,000 for a mystery box. We ended up getting a bunch of different Seal Booster boxes and all that, but you can check out the video down below. But the mysterious part was, we got to about $8,000 in value, and there's a room for about $2,000 more, but that's where these mystery packs came in. He sent all these mystery packs and said, Ando, the rest of the value is in these. So let's open up the uh, sealed packs right here. Oh gosh. And see what we get. There's a lot of sleeve stuff as well, which makes me think we've got a couple of rare items. So I want to be careful. Maybe we PSA grade a couple of things. But we start things off right here with a good old Mankey Tops card. Seems like it's in pretty good condition. These are always really hard to unbox out of boost packs because they stick together. So having a nice like Mankey, pretty good condition. We'll uh, put that to the side. Then inside of here, I have no idea what we're about to get, by the way. Going to be a surprise for you and me. But Reverse Squirtle. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Then a promo. Mistrevious, really hand-drawn from the Neo era. That's pretty good. Black Star promo. Then a, oh my goodness, Japanese Sil Valley card. Looking good. And then a base set, Gyarados, in Japanese as well, which is the original one, I think from 1999, not the Evolutions bad boy. You can say, look at that holo, you can tell, it's the basic old school holo. And then the promo, that's the promo um, Entei in Japanese. I, I can't remember if it came with the binder, but it was definitely around that like era. All of the red speckled background right there, the red flame marks there, and then what's behind that too. Gee whiz, how are you getting this much vintage Japanese stuff? We get a vintage Vaporeon right there, holo once again from Jungle. I think I've got this because I got the complete set of uh, Jungle Hollows. Oh my goodness. Then we've got Giovanni's Marchamp from Gym Challenge in Japanese as well. And the first edition, regular rare, Magneton from Fossil. This is going to be crazy. I can already tell you this is going to be a crazy opening. This is only out of one pack, and we got so many more. Stone Journey V, so he's got some new stuff as well. Keldeo V as well. Then we got Shift Tree GX. Solgaleo GX. And then to, oh my goodness, to end the first flipping booster is a Reggie Ice Gold Star. This is why he was waiting. It was like, you know what? Okay, look, it's not a PSA 10, but honestly, who cares? A Reggie Ice Gold Star. And if you don't know what Gold Stars are, they're like literally more rare than an EX card. So back in the day in the EX era, it literally goes like EX cards and then the tier above it. What everybody wants is a Gold Star. And this right here, my friends, is a Reggie Ice Gold Star. Oh my goodness. Final Blizzard and Ice Barrier. So that's probably like, that one right there was probably a PSA 6, maybe a PSA 7. It wasn't like really high in quality, but... I think the thing to keep in mind is, it's still a gold star, and I don't really care. It's still going to be, like, just as good in my collection. Oh, gosh. I don't want to be too savage. Now I know there's gold stars in there. You don't want to, like, rip the front door off. Okay. This is exciting. So, first up, as always, we've got our tops card. That looks like it's a scene out the Mewtwo Strikes Back movie right there. Looking good. Underwater adventure. Got all the whole squad there, and Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Put you to the side. And then we've got a couple of Japanese, so it looks like it starts off with a few Japanese bangers. We've got Flareon Reverse. There we go, Black Star Promo Pikachu. These all have a bit of order to them. So we've got Delphamize V. Then a Raichu Alolan Raichu GX. Oh my goodness. Is that a, uh, that's like a vending machine or a pop promo right there? Classic Slowbro. And then, that's pretty good, Dragonite out of the uh, Top Sun, which is the first ever booster made. It was the set in uh, Japanese that was made before the base set. So a uh, Dragonite there, and it's sleeved up. Not even too bad, so we've got a Kids WB promo from the uh, first movie right there. Black Star Dragonite, and this by the way, the Tops card's actually in really good condition. That'd be worth actually a uh, hot bit of money. I'll try and put as many price points on screen as I can. 
but I think these are like it honestly varies in like price condition and all that. That's pretty sick though. It's so funny, you can tell what's going to be worth their bit because he sleeves up the real like money cards and uh, the ones that aren't worth as much he leaves unsleeved. So we've got Vileplume GX, Zamazenta V, Electrode GX, what are we getting towards GX? Ninja? Oh my goodness! No way! Ultra valuable! But everybody wants this type of illusion in Japanese! Everyone wants it in English first edition, but I will take one of the most popular ever Typhlosion cards in Japanese any day of the week. Oh, this is ridiculous. No way. Then we're going to Ho-Ho Legend card straight after that. This video is going off if you haven't demolished the like button, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time to do it. Holo Typhlosion. Put you to the side. I'll get to you in a second, but let's have a look at this as well. Both of these make for the Ho-Ho Legend card. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a card that's actually going up every single day, goes up a bit up in value. It looks ridiculous. It's actually quite terrifying because it kind of looks really realistic, doesn't it? Like the flames that make up the bird kind of look like ratty feathers. It's like this thing got rabies or something. Dude, it looks crazy though. Okay, so we've got a Ho-Ho Legend card, but this is the real money one. Oh, uh, this is so cool. Typhlosion Holo from the Neo set in Japanese. What do you guys reckon of this bad boy? Oh my goodness, what a start. Honestly, like, I'm pretty exhausted from opening up the first half of the mystery box, the $10,000 mystery box, but this has kind of just uh, reinvented my life. All right, third pack in, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we can't get. Put you to the side. We got another. I actually dig in the uh, the how these always start with a uh, tops card. That is a good one. Look at that. Future looks bright with a Mew going to what? That's beautiful. I love it. It's a bit of an art card from the uh, tops Mewtwo Strikes Back. So I'm gonna put that one to the side because straight away already regular rare Dragonite from Fossil, and then we've got oh my goodness, Lycanroc Classic GX in Japanese. Then a Golduck Holo card from Gym Heroes in Japanese as well. Dude, who wants a vintage bind update? Who do, like who wants a binder update in general? No way, you got a hidden fades Gyarados as well. And then a oh my goodness, it's the same Neo so as that Typhlosion, but this time it's the Skarmory Holo card. Add a Neo as well. Then a first edition Dark Alakazam. Followed up by Delphamize V, Sil Valley GX, Necrozma GX, then a full art Mawile GX as well. Something absolutely ridiculous. It's got all the texture, but it keeps going because we've got the pro. I think it's a promo. The uh, Japanese Venusaur Holo card right there. And then what's behind here? It's the actual base set Venusaur. And right behind it is the Holo First Edition Holo. No way. Articuno. I honestly hope you guys are enjoying this as much as me right now because I feel like I'm freaking out and I hope you guys are loving it as well. Um, Alright, so we've got first edition Articuno. And let's go for the, uh, is it the fourth pack? Or is it the third one? Can't even remember. Okay, so we got a war turtle right here. Not bad at all. Don't mind the, uh, oh gosh, look at that. It's like back in the day war turtle. Looks so cool. Alright, put our top card right there. Reverse Palkia. Oh! Look at that Collector Boys! Almost got like a different shade eyeball that he does there. Black Star promo. Love the background. Then we got Ultra Necrozma GX right there. Wishy Washy out of Cosmic. Then we got a Goldark Pop Vending Machine series. Gosh, that looks cool. He literally looks like a duck. I know. How crazy. Then Eric is Venusaur Holo. Nothing surprised me at this point. Gym Heroes Japanese set. You can see the trees down there. This is blowing my mind. But I know that it's just a warm up. All these cards are just a warm up to get to the last one. Pikachu first edition out of jungle. Then a fl you gotta keep in mind, these first edition cards are so valuable right now. Like everybody's collecting these first editions. So they're so. Where is he getting these? Where is he getting all of the like original Top Sun cards? Because I opened one booster, there's only two cards per booster pack, and it's like $400 a booster, and he's just sending us the cards. Victini V. Then a Ho-Ho GX. 
Then we're gonna guard chomp Giratina. Wait till it's coming up. Then a Tyranitar! Old school flipping EX card! Are you kidding me? What is today's video? It is smash hit after smash hit. I can't believe this. I honestly cannot believe this. Nothing beats a TCA Gaming mystery box. Alright, Tyranitar EX. These are all bangers, by the way. This whole pile. I don't even know how we're going to do a recap today, but I'm going to give it a go. I think the uh, the top card on here is a Squirtle squad card. <laughs> look at this. Squirtle, but he's got the sunglasses. Yeah, look at that. Squirtle, what a legend. Squirtle. The good, good like, layout to these packs. I do love it. So, we've got a reverse Gyarados right there. Oh my goodness! Then we've got, there's that promo Entei. So, in Japanese, it wasn't a promo, but then in English, it was. All the Japanese cards not actually have the Black Star promo on there. Okay, we've got two of them nevertheless. Then we've got more Pico V, and this is ridiculous. I remember pulling this card. We've got a super scoop up full of gold card. Just casually, no worries. Okay, that's just the middle of the pack, and it's not even sleeved. Then we've got a Southern Islands Reverse Ladybug right there. Look at that. Oh, the way they've done the reverse foil looks really stunning. Looks really washed out. Then a Neo Manganium. So go with our Neo Hollow Typhlosion. In Japanese. Then our first edition Jungle Butterfree. Sableye V card. Then a Palkia GX. Followed by a Lola Ninetales GX. And then. Oh my goodness, that looks sick. I love Blast Toys. And this right here is like one. That's like literally. The exact Blastoise artwork that was on the Game Boy, um, is it in Japanese, I think? I think it's in English too, that's literally the artwork, isn't it? For Blue, Pokemon Blue. And now I've got it on a card! Come on, that is sick! Dude, that's gonna look so good in the collection. Oh! Okay. We've got a Holo First Edition Misty's Gyarados. Rare. What's behind it? Oh wow, I've actually got one of these and I oh this I think this is actually better condition than the one I've got. I've got wrinkles all over mine, but it is a shiny ho ho. And I think it's out of um Call of Legends. Combustion and then Scorching Wing with 100. Well, let's keep it going. First, like I love how we just cruise by our first edition Gyarados. No worries, yep, cool, chuck it in the pile. Like that never happens unless you're doing this right here. What is this? This seems like a poster. Is it a poster? Or maybe it's a, uh, maybe it's a puzzle piece. Yeah, maybe it is. That thing that's a puzzle piece, because if you look at the front right there, it's part of a picture, because you got half a Charmeleon and half an Articuno, but then it's actually a full TV's, uh, so this is a TV animation one. All these tops ones are part of weird set subsets. So we've got Gary, I love Gary, he's my idol. I always tried to put my hair like Gary when I was a kid. I was obsessed with him, I love his necklace too. I think I asked my mum for his necklace, and mum's like, what are you talking about? You can't just buy Gary's necklace from the store. Um, so we've got Seeking Reverse. Then our Articuno Black Star. Gosh, this looks sick, I love that. Just chilling on the rock. Zoroark GX, Detective Pikachu Holo Card. Then a Cubone out of the old cereal promos back in the day where they put those um, cards in the cereal boxes. This is a banging card too. Reshi Ram and Charizard Tag Team GX. And then look at this. Dark Slowbro. As the um, Team Rocket right there. The Team Rocket set. As a holo card. And you got the Grunt in the background. First edition. Kabutops in Fossil. Then we got more Pico V card. Then a Cramorant V. Latios GX. Building up with a Nagando and Gus Lord Rainbow Rare to reveal uh, another Gold Star. This time, MK Gold Star right here. Look at that. Holy Aunt Jemima. We've got a, another Gold Star, boys. This is literally a video that I think everyone needs to have on replay. Nagando and Gus Lord Rainbow Rare 2. Oh my goodness. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't it be another flipping gold star? Especially Entei. Dude, these aren't even too bad. I feel like after this video, I could kind of just start my own card store. I just have enough ultra rare bangers for um, <laughs> a card shop. This is crazy. Thank you so much. 
Man, which you guys are gonna have to leave a comment though. After this video is done, what's your favorite pull of the entire thing? Out of everything we opened up, what was like, oh wow, that was the best thing. It's gotta be one of the, I think for me, one of the gold stars at the moment, but that could change. So, classic Need Arena right here. There we go, very vintage first, like sort of tops. Oh, them, oh gosh, it's Maynetric. <laughs> Follows me everywhere. Then we got Mewtwo right there, which is the kids WB Presents, the Pokemon First Movie Stamps promo. Just a casual full art Buzzwall GX. No worries, boys. And then another full art, which is Sabrina's suggestion. Then a fossil Hypno, Holo Japanese. Love the purple Holo right there. What else we got? Heracross from good old jungle. He's looking good. So much sparkle and so much like these like what's the era design cards always just have so much, I don't know, dense holo. That is sick. What is this? Extra roll, three versus three. They're actually playing Pokemon cards. That is an epic card. I love these Pokemon cards that don't really look like Pokemon cards. It doesn't even have the proper backing. I think this means it's a vending machine promo, but that is awesome, okay. I've got a couple like that. We've got an Onyx GX, uh, Buzzwall GX. I love getting those graded. Vikavolt GX as well. Stick out of here. And then, is this, is this real? No way this is real. No way this is real. No way. In a, Aunt Jemima is this real? What the? No way, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, I think, um, I repeat, I think TCA Gaming has just sent me a first edition Shadowless Gyarados from the base set. Why am I talking quietly as if I, I feel like yelling is gonna affect the card or somewhat? Bubble Beam and Dragon Rage. This is maybe the funnest thing I've ever done. I've just been in shock the whole video. Gyarados first edition Shadowless. I think the centering's a bit off. Maybe? You guys in the comments let me know, but... I don't know what to do. I've just opened up a uh, first edition Shadowless Gyarados and we're going to keep going because I every time I do this I'm like, oh, there's still more, so there's still potential to get even rarer stuff. Okay, so we got a Tops. I told you, if anyone, if I'm going to pay anyone $10,000 for a mystery box, it's TCA Gaming. Got a Pikachu's Vacation Teamwork card. I love these. The TV animation ones are really good. So we've got Reverse Pointer. Oh, I don't want this to end ever. This video could go forever, that'd be nice. We're gonna Snorlax and Jungle, classic. I love the holo variant of that, such a beautiful card. Mega Venusaur EX, then a Pimplup, looking good. Then a Team Rockets Arbok. And it's a holo card in Japanese, followed by level 60 Blast Toys. That's such a weird artwork, you never see that card. I've only seen it a couple of times in my life. Then we've got everyone's favorite Pokemon Go Australian Pokemon. We've got Kangaskhan. Good old Kangaskhan Hollow from the jungle set. All of the active lines back there. I love how he's just now an Australian Pokemon. Every time someone sees it, it's like, ah, classic Australian Pokemon. Um, then we've got Dark Blast Toys, which I love this card. Anytime I get it, I'm a happy boy. This is probably the rarest card I ever pulled when I was a kid. Um, I was never fortunate enough to get a Charizard, but when I saw I got a Dark Blast Toys, best feeling ever. Wobbuffet V. Corio GX, Lycanroc GX as well, Full Art Electro, no worries, GX right there, no kidding, first edition, Blue Tendon Surge Firo, Holo card, gosh that's sick, can you see the desert plains here in the sky, that's beautiful, and right behind it, holy smokes, it's a Holo Dark Dragonite, out of Legendary Collection. I think I, you guys know, by now I've just run out of reactions, but that is just awesome. Every card at the back is ridiculous. I'm gonna start the TCA Blinder, I reckon. Let's keep going, so we've only got two left, and then I can do a recap and properly assess what happened here. Uh, Cause it's, it, it's literally, it's ridiculous. But um, yeah, there's only two left, so we should probably just rocket through this. Ah, <laughs> no pun intended. That is epic, that's like a holo edition. It's got Dragonite. I love Messenger Dragonite is peak Dragonite form. I'm sorry, Dark Dragonite, that we just unboxed, but it is. Okay, so we've got a reverse guard of all right here. That's out of the um, Radiant Collection. Then a Nido Queen out of Jungle. Sil Valley GX once again. Good old uh, Erica's Vile Plume. Beautiful card in the hollow. Got that gradient texture in the background. Starmie GX. Gosh, that is epic! Game Boy promo, Dragonite once again, 
Love the theme of the Dragonite. It's always been one of my favorite Pokemons ever. What in Arjumimer is that? Why has it got a gold border? Has it been colored in? It really does look like it's been sharpied in. Because if you look at it in the light, it looks really goldy. But then if you look at it in the darkness here... I don't know, it kind of looks like texture. That's so odd. But we do have a Zacian V as well. Vokarona! Then we're going to Lapras GX. Why wouldn't it be a Full Art Noivern? GX as well. But we've got a first edition Jungle Jolteon. Oh my goodness, what's next? What's flipping next? Okay, well, it's time for retirement. It's time for retirement because Ando's just going to pull the first edition Web Series E Series. Which is like, this is literally the... Okay, oh my gosh, how do I explain this? Basically, Japan reprinted the Team Rocket card as an E Series Holo. Oh my goodness, there is still another booster after this. You can't match this. You honestly can't match this caliber. Dude, I understand. I also understand now why TCA Gaming doesn't actually make these packs anymore. He used to actually make them for eBay. But with the market recently, everything went up so much in price, they became impossible to do because they're too valuable. So I think it's only because I managed to purchase a huge amount of stuff off him. I, I was like, can you bring him out retirement for a video? And my man did. So this is the final one. I know. If this video could go forever, it'd be brilliant. Okay, Volpix tops card, and let's finish it off. Here we go. So we got Reverse Hitmon Lee. <laughs> what has this video been? Charizard breaks in right there. That is a stunning one. Good goal bat. Bit of a ditto action. Oh, this is the band card. This is the band one, because look at that. That shouldn't be there. That's... Oh, no way. That's actually the, the one, isn't it? <laughs> I've got a banned Pokemon card. Then we've got a um, Alakazam. Look at this. Look at the light and then the hollow action. No way! Blackstar promo hit on top. Never seen that before. That's epic. Um, then we got a Wishy Washy GX. Gardevoir and Sylveon. Level X Arceus. Holy, that's not even sleeved. So you know that's not even the money card coming up. Venomoth. Here we go, here we go. This is the big hitters, the final big hitters. We got Zapdos Holo card from Fossil in J Japanese. Gardevoir, Sylveon GX. That, by the way, that is so miscut, look at that. Um, then we got Prime Raichu. Haven't seen Prime cards in a hot minute, but I'll take it. Dude, are you kidding me? One of the most popular and the most expensive Pokemon at the current moment is Espeon. And we've just got him pulled at Espeon EX. But that's not the that's not the end of the end of the pack. That's the second to last card. Oh no way! No way! It's an autographed card! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is future Ando jumping in, and uh, I managed to hit at my good friend, who literally only collects signed Pikachu cards, so I knew he'd know, like, what is up with the signature right here. It turns out this signature is from Mr. Ishihara himself, and it's one of his old limited edition signatures. So I don't know why, but for one reason or another, apparently he literally changed his signature over time, and this is one of the last ones that he did in 2005. Which brings the value of this card, this signed Pikachu, all the way up to about 150 USD. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever heard the phrase, holy mother duck, this is exactly what it's describing. Something so ridiculous, your eyeballs catch on fire when you look at it. Shake this, like, look at this. This is just the EXs, then the full arts, tops. These are like vintage, I don't know, first edition commons and uncommons. Ultra rare shiny slash half cards. Holo vintage bangers, like first edition shadowless. Then gold stars and old school EXs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start down here. We're going to make this quick because there are so many cards to get through. But right here, all of the V cards, all the EX, GX, and yeah, I think that sums it up. Tag team cards you guys saw right here. Look at this, Charizard right there. Really good mix. We've got Zacian V up the top there as well. But a really nice mix of newer stuff and a bit of like older stuff as well. Then that like brings us to this section, which is the nice full art section with rainbow rares, golden secret rare trainers as well. Then we've got some nice full arts as well, like Mawile and Sabrina. 
Then as we come up here, we've got some Tops goodness. Let me know in the comments, do you guys like Tops as much as me? I feel like only the hardcore Pokemon uh, crazy people like Tops because I just get mad nostalgia from these scenes at the movie. Like, I actually remember this and this. Maybe because I watched it on Netflix recently, but like... These bring back a lot of nostalgia, a lot of that artwork up the top there. Maybe we do a Tops opening soon. I've got a couple of boosters, they're getting expensive, but it would be fun for the channel. Let me know what you think. They're cool holographic ones to put in the binder. All right, now let's go on uh, to this section. This is a bit more of a uh, common and uncommon. A couple of first edition cool ones. We've got Black Star promo Pikachus there. Then we'll get our reverse speckled uh, Entei's. Look at our promo stamp Dragonites, Dark Blastoise up the top looking so good. Not to mention as well, we got this extra roll card. I'm really digging that. Oh my god, right next to it, first edition uh, Kabutops, just casually. Yeah, I really like that, uh, I don't know, it looks really peculiar, doesn't it? Anyway, let's keep going. Let's go up here. We got that Ho-Ho, which looks really good. Look at it put together. Unreal. And then we got Prime Raichu, Level X Arceus, and check this out. Shining Boarded Ho-Ho from Cooler Legends. Oh, you could start at either end. Both Ho-Hos are absolutely amazing, and the fact like they're together, so sick. But you know what? We're gonna go up here to the vintage Hollow Bangers. Oh, look, it's just shining. It's too good. Am I really weird for saying, like, I know there's base set um, Venusaur's, like, CD promos right here. We've got the base set one right there. I mean, we've got the legendary collection Dark Dragonite Hollow. Absolute flames. But, like, my favorites are the Blastoise. CD promo Blastoise right here. But I think this is the best card of the lot. And I think it's because you can, like, look at the literal actual card it came out of, which is the Team Rocket Dark Blastoise right here. But they put it on the E-Series card and made a whole... How flipping good is that? I, I don't know. Am I, am I the only person? I feel like that's incredible. Then we have the autograph one right here as well. Like an old autograph card from 2005. That is sick. Then we can't forget about our first edition, Shadowless Hollow Gyarados. I know a lot of base set fans are going to be freaking out over that one. You probably pooed your pants. You're going to have to change them after the video, I understand. Let me know in the comments if you did that. But we've got Lieutenant Surge's Furo in first edition, Kangaskhan, um, Vaporeon down there as well. Look, I can't forget about you, bud. Uh, then we've got Articuno, first edition, Hollow Fossil right there. Misty's Gyarados. But guys, it brings us up top right here. Gold Star Entei, Golden Star Regiice, Tyranitar, and Espeon EX card as well. So definitely leave a comment in the comment section below if you are blown away by the $10,000 mystery box and you want me to do another one. Stay subscribed to the channel, click that button, and let's get to 2 million subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to catch you tomorrow or the next day with another absolutely epic Pokemon card unboxing. Pikachu, I'll see you then.